Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Brew by Me coming at you from Ontario, Canada. I'm going to be reviewing my last beer that I picked up from these guys. They have one more um, that I didn't pick up because they didn't have it in stock, which is their porter. Um, it's a base camp oatmeal porter, is what they call it. So it's 5.1% ABV and it's 30 IBUs, I believe. Um, they didn't have that one when I was there, so I couldn't pick it up. So the next time I go in, uh, when I drop off these empty growlers, maybe they'll have uh, the porter in stock then. So, anyways, I'm going to be reviewing their IPA, the last offering that I got from them. Uh, I'm going to be uh, reviewing it in their glass, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, again, it's a 32 ounce bottle. And uh, yeah, so. Let's uh, crack her open and uh, see what we think, eh? Alright, this is called their Velocipede. Velocipede, which is the old name of bicycle. Um, IPA. Uh, 70 IBUs, 6% ABV. It was bottled on January the 11th, 2015. We are now January the 22nd, 2015. So it's not that old. It's fairly fresh. So let's uh, pop her open. And, uh, here we go. Ooh, she's tight. There we go. There's a smokage there. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think I. Uh, I said this in my uh, one of my old videos, yesterday's video, I guess, when I was reviewing their port, their stout, this stout. Um, and they made all of their beers uh, really mild. Um, but look at that color! Can you see that? Yeah, it's a beautiful color. It looks nice. It's like a race. Coppery orange. That solid three finger of the head. Off white head. Perfectly clear. You can see right through it. Tiny tight bubbles there. So, the beer looks fantastic. Let's give it a smell. See what we think, huh? Eh? Uh huh. I'll read the uh, information after I'm done reviewing the beer. That way, uh, it doesn't mess up my. Uh... All right. So, right off the nose, I get a little bit of caramel toffee, slight bit of citrus, slight bit of pine, but very faint, mellow aromas. Nice bit of sweet malt there, but mainly citrus and pine. Cheers. Look at the lacing. Look at the lacing on that beer. Oh yes. Look at that lacing on the glass. Mm. Alright. It's a decent IPA. It's not blowing me out of the water, but it's not bad. <clears throat> Fairly sessionable at 6% ABV. Um, fairly easy drinking. We'll say it's a, about a medium body, medium carbonation. Take a swig of this bad boy. Tip of your tongue. That caramel toffee is dancing right there on the tip of your tongue. As it rolls across your tongue, you kind of get that citrus, um, um, piney kind of characteristics there. Kind of reminds me of like a Centennial, Cascade, Columbus, um, Citra, those type of hops right there, the seas. So the citrus is kind of a, like a, a white grapefruit, a citrus up front, and that comes before the pine. The pine is actually at the back of the palate, um, just before it goes down your throat. That's where you get that pine kind of sensation, aroma, flavor, right back there. Finishes nice and dry, and you're ready for another swig.
definitely a little bit more hoppy characteristics than that you know that balance we're always looking for a nice malt hop balance this one's a little heavier on the the uh, hop flavors you pick up more of the hop flavors than the malt flavors but not bad um, definitely not the worst IPA I've had and definitely not the best IPA I've had you know it's kind of in between it's an average IPA it's it's easy drinking would I buy it again yes would I drink it again yes um, you know there's nothing wrong with it it's a uh, it's what it is it's an easy drinking IPA it's something that you want to try and uh, get going the only thing is that's holding this back is that I find that there's a little bit too much bitterness and not enough of the the sweetness but to counteract that to give it a nice smooth go through but other than that it's definitely good nice carbonation as you can see in burping excuse me the beer looks good drinks good tastes good uh, beautiful lacing on the glass um, all in all good beer um, <clears throat> see here get my get my phone out and get that open I have to do my untap thing anyways um, and so there you have it uh, the bicycle craft breweries uh, velocipede um, IPA. 6% IB, uh, ABV, 70 IBUs, a very easy drinking, sessionable IPA. The only, everything is is, is good, you know, the only thing is that the balance is a little off. Um, I think there should be a bit more sweetness there to kind of mask that uh, bitterness, but it doesn't go bad together. Um, you know, like I said, the malt profile, you got some two row in there, some caramel crystal malts in there. Um, maybe a specialty malt like Cara Foam or Cara Pills. Hops, like I said, uh, Centennial, Cascade, Columbus Chinook, that kind of citra possibly. But I'm thinking more Centennial, Cascade, Columbus. Because there's that little bit of dankness. Piney. As the beer is warming up, and the more I drink it, the more pine I'm picking at, opposed to the citrus. So, there you have it. If you guys are from the Ottawa area and you want to try some decent or good craft brew, uh, hop by and see these guys at Bicycle Craft Brewery, just off of Salomon Boulevard, uh, the corner of Salomon Innes, pretty much. Um, left hand side if you're coming um, from the Salomon side, and uh, if you're coming from the Alta Vista side, it's on the, the right side. Um, can't miss it, it's a pretty big. Um, spot they have uh, in with the businesses and uh, like I said uh, Fabrus is a nice guy his wife is very nice as well um, you know they like to talk um, you know they have usually they have four to five beers on tap when I went they had four their season was empty um, they only had three in stock though in growlers and rumblers or 64 and 32 or however you want to see it and um, um, yeah they have lots of uh, swag for you to buy um, you know um, so go ahead give them a try let me know what you think if you like the video please thumbs up the video share the video comment on the video and uh, keep coming back I enjoy your company I enjoy you guys watching I truly appreciate everything you guys do for me um, thanks a lot and until next time I'm out Ch cheers bye bye peeps